All right, so uh, this is just a video that shows you how to use swipe trades. So a swipe trade has just come in um, on my notifications. And um, yes, yeah, so there it is, uh, two minutes ago, okay? So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna press the checkbox and then I can see all the information about it. So usually you wanna read this, it's a sell limit. Um, that's the, uh, the entry price there, stop loss, take profit and it will give um, a recommendation for how much risk you should use on a $1,000 account. So if you have a $500 account, um, that would be half of that, for example. Um, in this case, it's, it's uh, you know, there's not multiple take profits. Um, oftentimes there is. So what I do is I just press the, uh, the home button and go back into uh, switch between that and MetaTrader 4. So I got a couple different uh, accounts in MedTrader 4. This is um, um, just one that I use just for kind of messing around with. So what you're going to do is you're going to look JBP USD, okay, sell limit, and then I'm going to tap that button right there beside the entry price. So I'm going to look for JBP USD, okay. And if you can't you can't find it, then you add it here. Um, but once it's already added then uh, what you do is you hold on this and um, when you let go, a little button pops out and you can do trade. So market execution, this is where you'll sell by market and buy by market. So it's not waiting for a limit to get in. So this will happen automatically, um, but this was a, a buy limit, I believe. Let me just check, or sell limit, okay. So that would be a buy limit um, and then you'd want to just do a sell limit. You wanna do whatever they uh, are going to recommend. So I'm gonna change this to uh, two pips, and then I'm gonna hold this down, uh, delete that, and paste in what I copied over there. And then I'll do the same for stop loss, copy, get rid of that, and paste in my stop loss, and the take profit is here. All right. Boom, so there's placed, okay? So what you'll typically see is um, with the sell limits or the buy limits, it, it, it's waiting until it, it hits a certain point. So usually those ones will start in the negative and then they'll start to uh, uh, to go into the positive as the as the trade changes direction, market executions go in automatically. So um, you see these. Uh, so these ones here are are open. These ones are in profit. So if I was gonna, you know, close that out, I could close that or modify it. Let's say I was gonna close it, and I could tap that button, close with, you know, profit of a dollar twenty. Um, but I'm just gonna leave it, and the same with the other ones on top. Let's say that you know I no longer wanted uh, this one, these ones, these orders that haven't gone in, you can just click delete and delete them or modify them uh, as per the updates that you get in swipe trades. Um, so when you load swipe trades, you wanna press this little uh, refresh button, um, you know, just so it, it loads. You can also swipe that way and see what you know, the previous uh, one was. Um, so there you go, okay? And so sometimes there'll be updates like this, you know, your USD, uh, you know, it's almost there. Let's just kind of, you know, the the profit kind of, um, the move looks like it, it didn't quite go, so just stop it out, right? Um, so that's what I do. I just keep swipe trades and MedTrader 4 right here beside each other. Um, so I can easily go back and forth. Okay, so I hope that explains things. And um, yeah, let me know if that uh, if that makes uh, makes it clear for you. Thanks.